Stalking the Princess, Part 2. Oh, great! Someone posted a slow motion gif. Oh, I always thought it was pronounced jif. Zip said. No, it's definitely gif. Pip winced, looking at the slow motion footage. Zip tilted her head. <laughs> Bubbles like Mom's Jello birthday cake from last year. Pip gasped. Never use the words Jello birthday cake when describing my ass. What? It looks like cake. Zip shrugged. <laughs> Zip for crying out loud. Pip cried out loud. <sighs> Great. Now I want cake. <laughs> I'd get you some, but I'm way behind with my testing. Zip put on the first of the striped socks. Speaking of, you need more cameras. Pip said. For better test footage, of course. Tail cam, some close-ups. Zip put on another sock. Hey, the chat is asking what your drag coefficient is. My what? Pip asked. You know, how aerodynamic you are. Zip exclaimed, walking to the aerodynamic tunnel. As you remember, my drag coefficient is about 0 0.61451933, and a lot of threes after that. You're smaller and closer in shape to the ideal horse in vacuum. Pip raised her eyebrows. What? It's spherical. Zip! Anyways, first me, then you. Zip put on the last of her socks, accidentally shaking her butt to the camera. Pip noticed that the amount of viewers increased considerably. There were also more donations. Meanwhile, Zip put on goggles and turned on the large fan at the end of the aerodynamic tunnel. It spun slowly, gradually picking up the pace. Those are some great socks, by the way! Zip jumped into the air and landed on the floor, then spun around. Feels like I'm wearing nothing at all! Pip's wings shot open. She tried to fold them, but it proved way more difficult than she expected. Zip, those stories some Pip squeaks right! What?! Zip exclaimed. The fan just reached full speed, Pip's voice drowning in the noise. Have you ever considered incest? Pip asked. Invest? No, I'm not gonna invest in your apes again! Zip rolled her eyes. Keep the cameras focused on the tunnel! I need some good footage! With these words, Zip jumped into the aerodynamic tunnel, flapping her wings against the wind. The socks fluttered in the airflow, but Zip stayed steady, keeping up with the speed for about a minute before switching off the fan. Zip flew out of the tunnel and looked at the control panel. 0 0.7, she said. We have a new record, but I think there's still room for improvement. Like, they shouldn't flutter like that. Maybe we'll find socks made of similar fabric but slightly tighter? She smirked at Pip. Your turn. What? Pip asked. Your turn in the tunnel. Zip replied. You'll do this without socks, so we can see your usual drag coefficient. Pip backpedaled. I don't think I should chicken. Zip smirked. Pip gulped. She knew at this very moment all the Pip squeaks in the chat were practically screaming at her to do it. No pony calls me chicken. She replied, looking into Zip's eyes. She then took off, despite her wings still feeling a bit engorged, and flew into the tunnel. The first gust of wind from the fan hit her like an incoming dragon migration, nearly blowing her off course. Unlike Zip, she had no goggles, so the wind immediately blinded her. She flapped her wings, tried to fly against it, but it was futile. After a while, she lost control and got pushed back into a conveniently set pile of pillows. Did you break something? Zip asked. I'm fine, thanks for asking. Pip replied. Zip furrowed her eyebrows. I mean, there's some important machinery behind the pillows, so... I said thanks for asking! Pip rolled her eyes. Don't make me change my mind. Zip went to the control panel and pushed a few buttons. So your drag coefficient is 0 0.845, which may mean that your flying position at high speeds is suboptimal. <sighs> you know what else is suboptimal? Pip walked to Zip. You're- Oh hey, those are nice! She exclaimed, noticing that Zip had managed to change socks. The ones she was wearing were now black and made of silk or some other smooth fabric. I know! Zip lifted her leg, revealing pink padding on the underside of the sock, mimicking cat's paw pads. They also have this. I guess it's for improved grip? Pip froze, her wings once again shooting open. 
Uh, I left the oven on. She grabbed her phone. Pony fan subscribers, there will be a live stream there in just about two minutes. Frantically, she hit her phone, took off, and flew out of Zip's lab, disappearing in the nearest bathroom. Zip shrugged. What's pony fans? She looked around, realizing that Pip was nowhere to be seen. Hmm, she told me to interact with the chat more. She looked at the chat. If you spanked your mom, would it be like jello cake? Zip smirked. Well, let's find out. Queen Haven watched Pip's Pony Fans livestream with rather mixed feelings. On one hoof, her daughter definitely was doing what she loved, but on the other, she definitely loved herself. On the third hoof, this could be a PR disaster, but her own subjects got so used to it that they hardly cared. For centuries, sex scandals in the royal family were a subject of gossip and entertainments for the whole Zephyr Heights. Pip was doing what she knew best. Selling ponies small packages of what they wanted, and getting a lot of money from it. On the fourth hoof, Haven wondered if Earth ponies and unicorns would understand this. She was pretty sure Zip would have stopped long before the third climax, and called it a day. She definitely didn't need enough fresh vegetables. Suddenly, she felt that someone slapped her butt. I know, it was you, Zip. Haven said, barely turning back, just enough to see her daughter with a camera. No one else would sneak up to spank the royal butt so quietly. It didn't wobble at all! Zip replied. So I think I burst my hoof. It's from sitting on this throne. Haven said. Heavy is the head that wears the crown, and hard is the arse that sits on the throne. Someday you two will have to milk a coconut with your butts in order to take this place. Really? Zip asked. Of course. Haven sighed. As the Tarpans wrote to the Trotterman Sultan, what the devil kind of knight are you that you can't slay a hedgehog with your naked arse? I'd rather be prepared. A hedgehog? Zip shrugged. I'd prefer a coconut. Me too. Haven replied. Thus I can crush coconuts and other nuts. Is that why dad is no longer around? Haven shrugged. Go back to testing socks. This is more entertaining. Zip nodded. Okay, Mom. When Zip came back to her lab, Pip was already there, slightly blushing, slightly sweaty, and more than slightly happy. How's the oven? Zip asked. Pip raised her eyebrows. What oven? Oh, right! Well, my oven was burning rather hard when I arrived, and I had to put the flames out. Zip nodded. Did you do it? I had to put the flames out five times before they stayed put out, so to speak. Pip replied. Also, it was a bit of an emergency, so I, uh, didn't have time to get my, um, professional firefighting equipment. I had to use my hooves, and so they hurt a bit. Not too bad, I hope. Zip looked at Pip's hooves before grabbing her socks. She sniffed, then frowned in puzzlement. Next time ask Thunder to put out the oven fire. Pip shook her head. I wanted to put out the fire in my oven, not put a bun in it. But that's a neat idea. I'll think of it next time. Or maybe you want to put out the flames next time my oven catches fire? <laughs> nah, I'm not a great firefighter, Zip said. I could get you a uniform. Pip chuckled, blushing. Hitch must have one from the calendar session, and Sonny says that he's great when it comes to sudden oven fires. Didn't your oven burn down completely? Zip asked. I mean, it probably took you a while to arrive. No, I came rather quickly. Pip smirked. The oven survived, so it's a bit sore right now. Weren't you supposed to test some more socks? Oh, yeah. Zip replied. Those black ones actually brought down the drag coefficient to 0 0.65, which is great. However, I wonder if I could bring it down even more. I'd like to see you in those. Pip produced a pack of purple striped socks. Nah, they won't be more aerodynamic. Zip replied, rummaging through the box with socks. Now the black ones are much smoother. Ugh, fine, I'll put them on myself. Pip replied and put the socks on. Standing on three legs, she almost slipped on the floor of Zip's lab. Its stone smoothened by time and countless ponies who used to come back here back when it was an airship station. However, Pip had enough grace to not only avoid the fall, but also turn it into an impromptu dance number. <laughs> nice moves, Pip. Zip said, putting on blue silky socks. Thanks. 
Pip replied, noticing that her pipsqueaks just donated more bits. I wonder if I can make this a thing. What? Zip asked. Dancing while putting on clothes sexily. Pip replied. Do you have any skirts? One, but it has aerodynamic brakes. Zip said. But they don't work properly, and sometimes they deploy on their own. Uh, yes. Pip shrugged. I'll better get my own skirt. Meanwhile, I'll test these socks. Zip said. I have good feelings about them. She jumped into the aerodynamic tunnel. The control panel beeped, lights flashing when Zip flew against the gust of wind from the fan. Soon, she turned it off and flew to the screen. Well, that's great! Zip exclaimed, jumping in excitement. 0.62! That's almost like having no socks! Pip grabbed a camera and walked closer to her sister. Could you jump again? Not everyone saw how great you look in these socks. Also, it seems some Pip squeaks are into muscles. Huh. Odd. They watch you every day. Zip shrugged. Pip opened her mouth, but before she could think of an appropriately savage response, Zip walked to the box and started packing the socks. Okay, we found the best socks for flying at high altitude. Zip said to one of the cameras. Now, I'll need to get more of these, and we'll see each other in the flight school. Uh, so, so that's it? Pip asked. No more streaming? Nah, I already have an idea in mind. Zip replied, walking to the closet in the corner of the lab. Hooves aren't the only bits that get cold. Right. Pip replied. So what's that, more aerodynamic hats? Eh, one day. Zip opened the closet. When Pip looked inside, she froze, her wings shooting open. Then, her feathers twitched and she fainted, hitting the floor like a rather undignified sack of jello cake. Huh. Seems this surprised her. Zip shrugged and turned to the camera. Anyway, while I'm trying to revive her, stay tuned for the stream next week, in search of the most aerodynamic panties. I'm gonna try not to comment on that last part, but man, I love this whole thing. It's suggestive, but not too suggestive. It's funny, but it's it's still funny. Whole thing in general is grand. Anywho, let's get on to our super generous donators. Top donators are 630, Jake Tin Man, Only One Thing, Soror Orion, and Iron Sky. Dark Side, Raiden, Narwhals, Black Moon, Heart Pastel Skies, Austin Rollins, Two Hex, Sword Brother, and Marcher, Darmicon, Library, Will, Chris, Twinkie, Ride, Soul, Badass, Waffle, Shadow Moon, Luigi88, and many more amazing people. Thank you all so much for watching this video and live life to the fullest.